susumpungan po sa Aklat Kinilu, chapter 14, na po verses 12 hanggang 24. Ito po ang sinasabi. He said also to the man who has who had invited him, when you give a dinner or a banquet, do not invite your friends or your brothers or your relatives or rich neighbor, lest they also invite you in return, and you will be repaid. But when you give a feast, invite the poor, the crippled, the lame, the blind, and you will be blessed because they cannot repay you, for you will be repaid at the resurrection of the just. When one of those who reclined at the table with him heard these things, he said to him, Blessed is everyone who will eat bread in the kingdom of God. And he said to him, Man once gave a great bounty and invited many. And at the time for the banquet, he sent his servant to say to those who had been invited, Come, for everything is now ready. But when, but they all alike began to make excuses. The first said to him, I have bought a field and I must go out and see it. Please have me excused. Another said, I have bought five yoke of oxen and I go to examine them. Please have me excuse. Another said, I have married a wife and therefore I cannot come. So the servant came and, and reported these things to his master. Then the master of the house became angry and said to his servant, Go out quickly to the streets and the lanes of the city and bring in the poor, the crippled, the blind, and lame. The servant said, Sir, what you commanded has been done, and still there is room. And the master said to the servant, Go out to the highways and hedges, and compel people to come in, that my house may be filled. For I tell you, none of those men who were invited to taste my tongue. Heavenly Father, we thank you, God, for this time. Once again, God, we will hear the word preach. Help us to understand more and more than we ask your Holy Spirit to be glorified by the now through us all. So we continue to serve our Lord. Lord, we are born to live in your heart. Sa balik po tayo sa ating pag-aaral sa Aklat ni Luke, chapter 14. At dahil po wala tayong pag-ikot after the service, ay pwede po mag-over time. Nag-uunat siya, wala na mag-over time. So, dalawang... Uh, Sunday lang po natin nag-aaralan yung chapter 14. No, at na uh, itong chapter na to na ating pinag-aaralan that's a chapter as a first one ng 24 sa pag-aaralan ito ay hindi po siya chapter of hospitality but po ito po ay chapter of hypocrisy. At ito po ay nakita natin yung sa ating pag-aaralan ng dalawang Sunday na yung ating Panginoon sa Kristo ay inimbitahan po ng uh, isang, isa sa puno ng mga uh, pariseyo no? sa araw ng Sabat no? po, sa panahon nila noon no? kung ano po na invite yung uh, preacher sa tahanan uh, 
ang sa mga ibang mga pariseyo, hindi po first time na inibitahan ng ating Panginoon sa Kristo dahil po ng ating mga nagagalang na karan at siya po ay na-invite sa isang deal sa tahanan po ng isang chief o pharisee at pagkatapos po, ito po mga pariseyo ay nag-invite sila ng isang namamagang tao yung dropsy yung may sakit at tiliyak po nila na ilagay ito sa harapan ng ating Panginoon sa Kristo upang hindi siya mamis ng ating Panginoon. Ang po natin na ang ating Panginoon sa Kristo ay nagpapagaling kahit sa araw ng Saba. Kung kaya ito po ay ginawa ng mga pariseo upang itrap yung ating Panginoon. At kapag hindi po niya pinagaling, sasabihin po nila ay nalala kong lack of compassion po ang ating Panginoon at kaya hindi niya pinagaling yung uh, may sakit. At kapag pinagaling naman niya, so makakausahan niya siya nila na dumabag doon sa araw na sabat. So, at nakita po natin doon, pinagaling ng ating Panginoon yung may sakit at uh, sinan na po niya. At itong mga presyero ay pinanong na sila o ito ba uh, is it good to uh, magpagaling sa araw ng sabat? Hindi po sila napagsalita sa pagkatsari po sa ating pag-aaral na oran. We cannot point any verse doon po sa Bible na bawat ang magpagaling sa araw ng sabat. At na-expose po ng ating mga subkristo dito po sa ating pag-aaral yung a heart ito mga pariseyo at uh, ito po mga pariseyo sa mga 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 kristo uh, yung kanilang mga animal sa niya ay kinakalaga na ginagalit nyo sa uh, painuman but pagdating sa tao ang may sakit ay wala po sila pakilang katapos ay namusap naman ng ating mga mga kristo patungkol doon sa uh, kung may pahuhulog kang oxen, hindi mo ba siya iahahon? Uh, o kung para sa tao na may sakit, hindi ba siya pag-aaralin? At sa verses, uh, hindi na naman po sila nakapagsalita. Uh, At sa po namin tayo din doon, uh, sa ating po sa pasahe, ay pinagmamasdan yung ating mga sa Kristo. Dinagang kaya, tinitingnan ng ito Adilat pa yung mata, di ba? So, they watch yung mga ating Panginoon sa Kristo. At habang minamas din po nila yung ating Panginoon sa Kristo, ay namasin po din natin na nag-observe din yung ating Panginoon sa Kristo. Sapagkat ang nakaraan sa ating pag-aaral, ay na-observe niya na nag-aagawal sila sa mga upuan doon sa malapit sa hos. Nakapansin po yung ating Panginoon yun. Kaya din na sa nakaraan, yung po yung nalapit ni Pastor Joseph. Nagunahan sila na umupo. Yung sheet po yung table, nagunahan mo po doon sa hos, sa malapit sa hos. Kasi raw, sa mga Pastor Joseph na nakaraan, kapag malapit ka sa kusina, mas na kang nakukulingan. Kaya hindi rin na po yun. Kapag malapit ka sa kusina, mas madali kang makulingan. So, ayun po, nag-observe din po pala Nagmamasig din ang ating Panso Kristo Hindi lamang sila ang nagmamasig sa ating Panso Kristo Because yung ating Panso Kristo rin ay nagmamasig sa kanila Kaya siya po ay nag-salita ng isang harbor Kapag ikaw ay po naimbitahan sa isang pigil Huwag kang mungkong dun sa mga honor seat baka yung yung host ay may mas mataas siyang invited at lapitan kabulungan ka yung i-visita dyan na upo dyan so ano daw no 
sa nila sa atin. Kapag in-invite mo, may pabor na mababalik din sa iyo. Yung real hospitality, real graciousness, real credit with God comes when we give of ourselves to others even though we expect nothing in return. When we repay others or look for others to repay us, there is still a motivation of selfishness. Motivation of selfishness. When we invite those who cannot repay us, we are then extending grace and the love of Christ. <clears throat> so your from uh, point is that opening our hearts to others, even though they may provide nothing to us, not just your dinner or may mga iba pa pong mga cases na pwede natin gawin. Hindi lamang huwag lang tayo mong expect in return. At ang tunay na yung Diyos ang mag-bless po sa atin. Maraming pong cases na pwede pong gawin. Hindi lang po yung pag-invite sa leader or yung we should, think, we should think about others and live without calculating the return we can get for themselves. When the Putru hospitality is generously giving to others for no other reason than the love of Christ. Then the love of Christ, in Agawana Rito, lies for Eve, not in the so, sinasabi po sa atin ng Panginoon si Cristo, reach out to those who cannot pay us back. Because when we will reward them in the resurrection, then we will reward them in the resurrection of the dead. So, doon po sa Matthew 6, Jesus told that if we live for the praise of man, then the praise of man is all we can hope to receive. <coughs> So, in I encourage po ng ating Panginoon sa Kristo na mamuhay daw po tayo for the praise of our Father in heaven, even if no one notice here on earth. Ay, huwag na po makapansin sa atin dito, gano'n po makapansin sa atin na lang. So, yun lang po yung point doon sa 14, ah, 12 to 14. Sabi po, pag kayo po ay nagkaroon ng handaan, uh, invite you po, invite you po kami. <laughs> At pagdating po sa 15, no, meron pong narinig, meron pong narinig, sabi po na po sa gusto, meron pong narinig, sabi po sa gusto, meron pong narinig. When one of those who reclined at the table, with, na rinig niya yung mga bagay nito at sinabi niya, Blessed is everyone who will eat bread in the kingdom of God. Yung po yung one of the near guests uh, po sa, sa near ng mga alam ng sabah. At uh, one of the uh, guests na alam niya po itong breaking of the bread. He tried to be super spiritual. He tried to be super spiritual at marami daw po mga tao na kagaya niya sa kapanahonan na din ngayon. They try to act spiritual but all they do is reveal how unspiritual they truly are. Kasi itong uh, tao na to, no? uh, basically sinasabi niya, praise God! We are going to the real peace someday. And ito pong mga Jews ay naniniwala po sila that the kingdom of God was like a fish. Ito pong kingdom ng Diyos ay kagaya nitong digin. At 
ini uh, sinasabi po nila sa kanilang sarili na sila ay nanroon kapag naganap yun piging na yun so ito pong tao ito no, siya po ay naniniwala na siya ay nanroon kapag naganap yung piging na yun at ang sinin po natin yung ating konsepisto hindi lamang po siya observer hindi lamang siya pagmasihin pagkos uh, may mga instances po na nandun yung kanyang pandinig at kapag siya ay nakakuha ng opportunity ay base dun sa kanyang narinig o sinaobserba ay mangungusap na naman siya ng, ng ibang araw to address po yung na nakikita niya at narinig at pasinin natin ay lang para po na po siya ito sa ating uh, verse 124 para po ay nung sa pagpili ng upuhan tapos yung pag-invite tapos dito may isang para po na nalabanggit yung ating Panginoon sa Kristo Jesus used this opportunity to confront the hypocrisy of the Jews yung pong narinig niya dun sa isang Jew yung sabi niya ang mapalad yung mga uh, nandroon sa piging no? na uh, napalagay po ng mga Jew no? na yung kanilang uh, na sila ay nandroon sa araw ng piging no? kapag dumating yung araw na yun As, uh, they are the chosen people So, ay iniisip nila, ay hindi ba hindi kasama sa tigin lalim ang tigin so, hindi nyo naman maraming peace ang mas madali doon peace is that is that so kinukonfront po ng ating Panos of Cristo yung kanilang uh, pagkahipokrito no? at sinaranis po nila Pinalans po sila ng ating Panginoon doon sa kanilang false confidence no? doon sa mga naniniwala na they are right with God and to teach them how the invitation of God's peace really work no? at makikita po natin dito kung paano siya siya lang kinungkot, kinungkot ng ating Panginoon at ito lang din po ay nagre-remind sa atin dito sa parable na masasabihin ng ating Panso Kristo that God is on a mission He is on a mission to save the soul of lost men and women and He has commanded us no command po niya tayo to join Him in this mission may mission po yung Diyos to save the lost at kinuman po niya tayo na makasama natin siya at join him dito po sa mission nito. Yung pong desire ng ating Panginoon sa Kristo is to save the loss at yung ating role doon po sa kanyang plan. Hindi, hindi lang pala siya meron pala tayong role doon sa plan ng ating Panginoon sa Kristo doon sa nais ng ating Panginoon sa Kristo to say the loss at ito po yung pasahe na to is about God's invitation to salvation at makita po natin dito sa pasahe na to ay tatlong bagay po yung makikita natin so one of all the invitation extended the invitation extended then the invitation extinguish and the invitation expanded <clears throat> the first verse 16 to 17 sabi po ron but he said to him a man 
once gave a great banquet and invited many. And at the time of the banquet, he sent his servants, say to those who had been invited, Come, for everything is now ready. So, ito pong event na ito is napaka-splendor na event. At sinabi po sa ating pasay, this is a super event. This indicates that it will be a grand event. Nila po maliit na pigino. It's a grand event. It will be a time of lavish entertainment for those attending. Gusto mo ba natin umatin sa ganitong mga uh, event? Uh, of course, maraming hindi ako. Maraming, maraming hindi gusto, no? Kapag sinabing event, hindi ba yan? Sama ko dyan. Diba? Pero pag may bayan, sila na lang muna. Ito po, libre lang. <laughs> libre lang po ito. No? At makikita lang natin dito yung scope of events. Not only the splendor of this event, but the scope of this event. No? Surely, the people who were invited to this feast were the cream of the crop. They were the rich and influential. They were the movers and the shaker. So, kagaya ng bibig na ginawa ito mga parisiyo. Yung mga best yung kanilang invite. At dito, pag inisip natin yung splendor of the event, no, yung love of the event na ito, yun yung isinisip natin na nandoon daw yung mga who's of the who's. No? Yung mga may sinasabi. Everyone that was, anyone would have been invited to come. At ang ating Panso Cristo ay ginawa niya ng illustration itong fish na ito. Jesus is using this fish to illustrate the glory of God's kingdom for those who will attend the Lord's feast in heaven. It will be an event of ground and so glorious that we cannot even begin to understand or comprehend. Pansinin daw natin no? itong word at uh, alalahanin natin kung gano'n siya may stain sa kasalanan. At imagine daw natin if you, if we are in the world that is perfect, no? not in this world na kung nang nasang tayo ngayon, a world that is free from sin, free from the influence of the devil, free from pain and suffering, sorrow and tears, gaya ng sinasabi ng Revelation 21. No? <clears throat> Imagine daw na tayo ay kasama doon sa listahan that the very God, no, siya lamang ang nakapaglalagay sa atin doon sa listahan. At imagine daw natin yung fish na ito na ating atinan uh, na great fish ay makakasama natin sila Abraham, Isaac, and Jacob at mga iba pang uh, uh, tao no? na tanyag. So, uh, Bible, mga uh, prophets, no? sila David, sila Solomon. Uh, hindi ba excited na kasama natin sila sa isang piging? Kasama natin yung mga apostles. Uh, kita natin dun si Apostle Paul, na hindi pa natin nakita. Uh, o kaya si, si Joseph. Uh, kita natin dun. Si Ezekiel. Kapeta. Dito, napaka excited na piging o event siyang ating dataluhan. No? If we can imagine the scenes like that, then we have a small idea of where we are heading and of what we will see and experience when we arrive there. Kung may experience natin, kapag nakita natin si 
Father Abraham has said it to you. It will be a social event of eternity and we do not want to miss it for the world. And the only was to get on the guest list is to be invited by the host and have a personal relationship with his son. May invite ko ba tayo kung wala tayong relasyon kung doon sa mag-invite? Pwede ba? Lalo na, kung president mag-invite, wala kang relasyon. Hindi doon sa gate, hindi tayo makakapit. Hard to run it. But here, invited po tayo. Ang kailangan lang ay makasama tayo doon sa list ng host at magkaroon tayo ng personal personal relationship sa kanyang anak sa ating lahat ng Panginoon sa Cristo. And then, 1820, the invitation at the Christian years. The invitation of friends. Kasi, when the peace of this magnitude was planned, doon po sa ancient, doon po sa ancient world, kapag nagplano po sila ng mga peace na ganito, malayo pa, ay ini-invite na po yung mga invitado para makapag-prepare sila at pagdating ng event ah, ng, oh, ng event ay ready na po sila <clears throat> all of those invited would have been informed of the date of the event well in advance each one of them would have ready promised would have already promised that they would attend the event no, nangako na po sila oh dadalo kami sabi dahil malayo pa ay samahan pa naman yung dalawang buwan kung ikaw ay bibili ng isusuot ay big time ka pa na makapanipon kasi big events ang karamihan pa naman sa atin kailangan makakaroon tayo makabongga kasi diba? big events eh hindi <laughs> pwede kung ano tayo isuot natin <laughs> So the host would need to know kung ilang po yung dadalo para makapag-prepare siya ng food. No? He would need an accurate account kung sino po yung mga dadalo para hindi po makurilyo. No? Kasi uh, nag naghanda ka ng 20 tapos yung dadalo pa 30. <laughs> when the date of the feast arrived, the host would send out his servant. No? Pagka dumating na po yung time ng event, ay isesend po niya yung servant ulit upang paralahanan yung mga na-invite na yung feast ay ready na. At uh, nakita po natin, yung service natin binasa, ay hindi po ganun exactly yung nangyari. <clears throat> when the servant came to, the, to those invited, they began to make excuses as to why no, na, kung bakit daw po hindi sila makaka-attend doon sa peace. Magawa po sila ng excuses. Nagaya po ng mga nararanasan din natin ngayon sa panahon na to. Hindi lang po sa panahon nila. No? Kung tayo ay nag-invite ng Monday, oh, sige po, Tuesday, okay po. Hanggang Wednesday, hanggang Thursday, pagdating ng Sunday, ay, silaan po pala, alis. <laughs> so, yan po mga isang excuses. Ay, uh, naging busy po kasi. Linggo lang yung aking oras para makapaglaba. So, hindi po ako makakadalo. Sa susunod na lang po. So, tinan po natin yung mga excuses dito mga uh, inibitahan. No, dito po sa hindi. Maraming po sila mga excuses. Hindi sila makakadalo. No, at examinin po natin kung ano yung kanilang mga excuses. At kung titignan po natin, sabi nga, itong mga excuses yun, ay hindi mga valid points. Hindi mga valid na excuses. Pagaya po ng uh, nararanasan din natin sa bago. Just like the people in the parable, they have been notified of the upcoming event beforehand. Yet, when the time came to go to the Messiah, they refused and would not come. 
Uh, kita po natin yan dito sa 19 of Luke verse 14 and John 1, 11 to 12. No? At ito po ang ating uh, pasaya ay binipiksot po dito yung Israelites. No? <clears throat> and uh, when this happened, God turned to others to fill up his household. No? Romans 1.16 no? Yung pong responses Yung pong mga Gumawa ng mga excuses Ay ikinagalit po Itong host no? But hindi po daw Nakats yung host Of God There is an application daw po Itong verses na to At nakikita natin na The presence of age Of grace Kung sa ating kapanahon God the Father has prepared a means of salvation for all who will come. He did so by sending His Son Jesus Christ to die on the cross. No? At ngayon, isinend din po niya yung Banan Espiritu upang i-convict yung tao no? or yung sinners no? and to invite the sinners to come to Jesus. So po yung ginawa ng ating uh, God the Father. Sinubo niya yung kanyang anak, ang ating Pansang Kristo. At sinubo niya rin yung Banal Espiritu for us sinners to invite for these things. Gaya din po ng mga Israelites of all. Yung kung kanilang mga tenga ay nag-bini-biniyan. At uh, sa pag-invite po, Itong mga ng Espiritu, they, their ear become deaf. No? At karamihan daw po sa mga tao no? ay may realize natin na ganun din po yung mga nangyayari sa panahon na ito. No? I-invite mo sila, no? ito nyo ba, parang wala lang narinig. At yung iba naman ay hindi tatalima dun sa simulitasyon. At uh, hindi ba naman mga mako, pagdating nung date sa ating ng araw, ay marami ang uh, dahilan. At uh, po natin yung mga uh, excuses nito ang mga uh, in-invite. Yung una pong excuse nito po ang mga invites is the excuses of material possession. Material possession po yung unang excuses kung uh, i-examine po natin yung unang nasabi na siya po ay nakabili ng parcel or piece of land no? at kailangan niya itong tingnan no? bumili na po siya bago niya titingnan ano po ba? ano po ba yung mundi? di ba titingnan mo na bago niya gili? But dito yung nag-excuse, sabi niya, bumili siya at ngayon, titingnan niya. So, <laughs> hindi po balik yung excuses. Baligtad. <laughs> sabi niya, a piece of property. No, bibili ka ng a piece of property without seeing it first. No? Then, who goes to look at this mystery property in the evening? So, kung yung events ay gabi, o titignan pa niya gabi, yung kanyang binili yung property. Hindi balik excuse, di ba? Parang dahil lang. So this man and his excuses picture the sinner who is so materialist, materially minded that he refuses the call of the gospel so that he can continue to live for this world and all that it gives God has a word for the type of this individual. Papasayin mo natin sa Mark 8, 36-37. He will say the same thing to them that he said to one another, to another foolish man. One night, sinabi ko ng ating Panginoon, to sa Luke 12, 16 to 21. 
ang mahalaga pong bagay dito no, sa ating buhay daw ay hindi yung how much am I worth. Ang mahalaga daw po sa ating buhay na ito am I saved? Hindi yung how much am I worth? Ang mahalaga ligtas ba kaya ako? Itong isang na para ba ang isang look no? na malaki yung harvest niya tinulang yung kamalig niya tapos iba yung lagay lahat tapos nasabi ng Panginoon kung kukuhin yung buhay mo ngayong gabi no? ang lima ko kung talaga siya so hindi ko malaga kung daan mo meron tayo kung malaga tayo ba ay kaitas <coughs> So material possession, yung pong experience ng isa, lahat nakita po natin, hindi po sabarin yung kanyang beso. Second excuses, yung pong professional advancement. Professional advancement. Bumili daw po siya ng sampung oksen. Sampung po ba yung nabanggit? Hindi, limang yok. Kasi po yung yok, so ay ano po yun? Tambal. Five yok of oxen. Limang pares. Yan, yeah. sampu po sila. <laughs> Nung no, no, na, sabi ko pinasok sa iba. Sa isang, sa isang ng translation, five yok. Tapos kung sa isang translation, sampu. Ah, yun pala. Pares <laughs> pala yun. Yung yok. Pare, no? <laughs> five yokes of oxen. So, sampu yung kanyang binili. No? At ito rin po, bumili siya, hindi niya sinubok yung mga binili niya. So, <laughs> yung excuse niya, <laughs> ano? dahil bumili siya, hindi siya makakapunta, tsaka palang ititry yung mga binili niya. So, uh, you know, one excuse niya. Sino ba daw yung bibili ng oxen? Eh, hindi mo na susubukin. <laughs> Kung siya ay papag-aararawin mo, ano mo siya malalaman na suit siya doon sa pag-aararo kung hindi mo muna siya itatry. So, hindi na naman balit yung kanyang Christ. He's trying to get ahead in the world. No? Of course, his excuses is lame. One of the best. Who buy oxen without trying them out? Who buy oxen and when tries them out, sa gabi pa, no, kung event. Mary, nawa daw sa ating kapanahonan ang kagaya nito ang tao na to. They allow their occupation, their business, and the pursuit of material gain keep them from coming to God. There is nothing wrong daw po sa pagtatrabaho and making money. But when these things come ahead of God, They are simple. Hindi daw po tayo binigyan ng trabaho ng Diyos upang tayo ay mapalayo sa kanya. God doesn't give people jobs that make them away from Him. There are many who place a career ahead of God and as a result will die and go to hell. So, hindi pa natin pwede yung dahilan ng ating mga trabaho, ng ating mga business o anong po meron tayo. Hindi pa makalayo na tayo sa kanina. Of course, binigyan tayo ng mga bagay nito ng Diyos, kung ano meron tayo, upang nalayo tayo mapalapit sa kanina. So, not valid excuse. Then the third excuse, personal relationship. This man was a newlywed. Sabi niya, sabi siya ang kasal. At naunawaan po natin doon sa kanilang kapanahonan na ito pong bagong kasal ay i-spend po ng lalaki doon sa kanyang asamang babae yung panahon na after silang ikasal. At yung pong wedding doon sa panahon ng lalaki ng ancient times ay extravagant po. At pinagahandaan po yan buwan pa. Months pa. 
Ibig sa ating kultura, ang marayong pa pinagahanda yung kasal. Kasi marayong pinagpapit. Kasi ang buhay ka ka sa'yo dyan. So bago siya, bago siya mag-oo-oo, doon sa invitation, alam na niya na siya ay kakasal. So, uh, alam niya kung siya talaga ay pupunta o hindi. No? Kung i-accept niya yung invitation, pero in-accept niya yung invitation. No? Pagkatapos, ay dumating yung tiging, ay yun ang ginawa niya dahil ang hindi siya makakating. So, so, this man places personal relationship ahead of everything else in life. Uh, yung kanya pong relationship ay yeah, nilagay niya sabi, sabi sa dito ahead of everything so many are in the same shape today they will come to Christ because they are afraid kung ano po yung sasabihin ng kanilang pamilya at ng kanilang mga kaibigan no, sila po ay natatakot na baka isipin nila na siya ay masyado ano nang nagpapakabanal Hmm. yun ang uh, da- kadahilanan na uh, hindi lalapit sa ating Panginoon some are too absorbed in their own little world to give their lives to Christ people are make their excuses in Christ's things uh, dito po pinipicture din po dito yung Israel they knew about the coming kingdom of God. They knew that God was throwing a feast and that they were to be the honor guests. Ito yung nasakasipan po ng mga Israelita. They have been too, they have been told no, the words and writings ng mga propeta dito po sa piging. No? At kapag yung, nung, nung isinend po ng ating Diyos, yung kanyang anak ng ating Pasok Kristo to, to call them to the peace, they turned a deep ear to his call and made excuse as to why they could come they that hindi po sila makakarating. At maraming pong baras din pong mga tao sa panahon na may na ganito rin po yung kanila mga excuses. The excuses means as much now as they did then. That a single person who rejected this invitation had a valid reason for doing so. Ay, uh, reject po nila yung invitasyon dito pong nagkos na piging. Then, Doon po sa verse 24, 21, 24. After an extended po invitation, invitation was extinguished. Then, sa so verse 21 po hanggang 24, yung invitation ay na-expand. Invitation expanded. Dahil hindi po tumalima na itong mga Israelita ay nakarating sa mga hindi yung po invitation ng ating Panginoon. And the servant returned with the response of those who invited. He becomes angry. No? Galit po yung uh, master. He had invited these people because he wanted them to his peace. They all promised to come when he called but now the time has come. Ready na po yung uh, begin, no? they rejected yung po invitation kung kaya siya po ay nagalit. And this is a picture of God. As a children, no, nung po tayo ay uh, bata pa, kung tayo ay nagalit ng mga Sunday school, mm-hmm. dito sa ating pasahe, nakita po natin that the masters ay nagalit po. Kung tayo umatid ng Sunday School, itinutulong daw po sa atin that God is love. Yes, He is. No? Itinutulong daw po sa atin that God wants to bless us. Yes, He does. No? 
we were, we were taught us that God desires only the best for us. And He does. Oh, but yun daw po hindi itinuro sa atin. Nakalimutan ni Toro. That God is also a God of wrath and judgment. Those who come to Him at His invitation experience His love and His grace. No, at yung kung hindi ito malima o oh, tumanggi sa kanyang invitation ay makaka-experience daw po sila ng kanyang gali gaya din pong ating pasahe so this parable the man who is having the peace sent his servant out to invite anyone he can find to come to the peace the servant goes out and he invites many and the peace is filled with people. At uh, examine po natin kung ano po yung sinasabi po ng pasahin ito sa atin. Bila uh, part tayo ng plano ng Diyos to save the lost. Uh, nakita po natin sa verse 21 the expansion is critical. Critical to the expansion. The master of the feast sent his servant out to tell him to quickly find enough people to fill the feast. Madali, itong kanyang servant. Upang hanapin niya, mahanapin niya yung mga tao para magpuno yung kanyang tahanan because of the feast. No? There is a sense of urgency. Haste and in this command. It is urgent that a multitude be found. No, kailangan po makita ng tao para makadalo dun sa peace because the food is ready. That's masisira po yung food kapag wala pong dumating. Kasi ready na yung food eh. Invited lang nila at nag-uho na sila at nakapaghanda na itong master. So nung hindi sila uh, dumating at nagbigay ng mga kanya-kanyang mga excuse, sino bang hindi magagalit? Master's ka, naganda ka, tapos di pala sila darating. Ano gagawin mo ngayon? Marami sa mga. Baluti na lang. Wala ka mga balut eh. Kasi walang dumating. So inutusan na yung kanya-serba, sige, hanapin mo ang mga tao para ma-feel yung aking bahay. The food will spoil. In a short time, the master of the feast knows that the time is short. No, meron pong urgency yung sa kanyang command, yung sa kanyang servant. The Lord knows the time is short for the loss as well. People all around us live life no? na para bang wala nang hanggan ng aking buhay. Para bang magubuhay ka forever. But hindi po ganun yung case. No? That's not the case. Our lives are short regardless of how long they last. Lalo man siya, yung ating buhay natin, ay may hangganan. And it's short. Anak po natin yan. Ako ito mo lang ngayon, maya maya, wala na pala. Kagaya lang ka basketball mo lang lang. Basketball lang nila ngayon, few minutes, lumagsak, expire. <laughs> After this life, there is a long eternity that will enter, that will either be spent in heaven with the Lord or in hell with no, the rest of the lost. So the only way to avoid hell and enter to heaven is through a relationship with the Lord Jesus Christ. Bahapyong kung ano na yan sa ating pag-aaral. Ano na yung pamilya ko? Kung ako ay si So para kuma-avoid daw yung uh, pag, pagtungo dun sa hell at maka-enter sa, sa heaven ay magkaroon ng relationship sa ating Kristo. Jesus is the dividing line between heaven and hell. 
Ito po sinasabi nun sa Acts 4.12 Walang pangalan sa silong ng langit ay binigay ng Diyos sa ikaligtas ng tao. Ano po sabi nung John 14.6 I am the way the truth and the life no one can come to the Father except so That is why we must be in the business of telling others about the feast. Yung po yung part natin. Gaya po nitong serpent. We need to tell others about the feast. Sinasabi po lang isang, meron po nagsasabi, sabi po lang, yung daw po daw mga saint of God ay kaya, kagaya daw nitong mga beggar. Telling another beggar where they find bread. Ganun daw po yung mga saints of God. Parang isang beggar telling another beggar kung saan masusumpungan yung tinapay. The fact is, we have been commanded to share the gospel with the lost. Mark 16.15 Sayang na lang po natin yan. Acts 1.8 Masada po natin yung Acts 1.8 When the Holy Spirit ay narisip po natin No, magiging witness po tayo sa Jerusalem, Judea, at Samaria. This command is urgent because time is running out for men to repent of their sins and call on the Lord. At yung po atong laging pinapanalangin na impress po sa ating puso ng Diyos yung greatness of the heart at yung mga tao are perishing and we are doing little to reach them. Yun po yung creep na yan, the expansion in this creep ka. Then the expansion is comprehensive. Comprehensive po yung expansion. When this man sent his servant out to call people to the peace, he does not send him dun sa mayaman lang o sa mga powerful na kaibigan niya o di kaya sa mga matatas na tao isinugo niya ang kanyang servant to call those that polite society would have had no fellowship with them yung mga hindi kinikilala ng lipunan at consider daw this man call at tingnan natin kung sino yung mga tinawag niya o yung mga in-invite niya. Yung una, sabi dito sa ating pasay, yung mga poor, yung mga mahirap. He called those who could never pay him back. Yung po yung sinabi niya dito sa unang parang niya, sa verse 12. At makikita po natin yung portrait of God's grace. He reaches down to men who will never be able to repay him for his salvation. Yet God asks for no repayment. He just asks men to come to himself. Hindi po sinabi ng Diyos na pagbabayaran mo ng ating salvation mo ang panawagan po niya oh, sabi po to sa Isaiah 55.1 yun po mga poor yung kanilang pinuntahan At pagkatapos pinuntahan niya yung mga main ito, ito po yung mga deformed twisted or broken bodies na mga tao these are the kind of people society feels uncomfortable No, hindi po comfortable yung society kapag nakikita nila dyan yung mga taong ganito. Yung mga deformed, twisted, or broken bodies. No? <clears throat> These are the people who are considered to be the defect and the reject of society. Yet, this gracious man reaches out to them. God loves the spiritually maimed. Mahal po ng Diyos yung mga spiritually maimed. 
Every person in this world possesses a twisted nature. There is a bend in all of us towards Him. The Bible calls this bend towards sins, the po yung tinatawag ng Biblia na iniquity. Society and the church often draw back from these people, but Jesus loves them and died to save their soul. He calls the most twisted to come to Him. In fact, there is no sin so vile that they will never cause God to stop loving the sinner. Jeremiah 31, 3, sabi po, malina mo siya sabi ng ating pansupisto, whoever will, let him come. The poor, the main, that's the katapos yung the heart. These are the crippled, the people who are unable to get around on their own. Mga may mga kapansanan. In fact, to come to the supper, para makarating po sila doon sa bigay, ay kailangan po nila ng tulong. No? They would have and need help. No? At ito po ay pinipicture din ng kong tao na outside of Jesus, crippled by sin and unable to get to God. No? Isaiah 59 2. Sinners need help, and that help is Jesus. No? <clears throat> the crippled man, dun po sa Mark, to maalala natin, at na pinagaling po ng ating Kung sa Kristo. No? Yung pong kanyang mga kaibigan, na hindi siya maka- paroon do sa nilalagyan ng ating Kung sa Kristo, so binitbit siya ng kanyang mga kaibigan, at i-binahan do sa bubong ibinaba para makarating sa ating Pansa Kristo upang matamu niya yung kagalingan ng kanyang karamdaman. At marami po sa kapanahonan natin ngayon ang mga people because of their sin. Lost sinners are dead. Sabi po ng Ephesians 2.1 They need someone to come to Jesus, they, they need someone to come to them. The Lord has come to them, to His people. As we carry the gospel to those perishing in their sin, that is our mission, and they are our mission field. Kailangan po natin silang dalhin sa ating Panginoon Kristo because wala po silang kapasidad na sila ay mga may kapansanan because of sin. And then the blind, no? these are the people who are trapped in their own little world of darkness. They do not possess the resource to get to the Lord by themselves. No? Kailangan po nila ng guide. At sino po yung mga guide na yun? No, tayo po na mananampalataya ng ating Jesus Christo. They need someone to show them the light. They are millions who are wandering around in a spiritual darkness and headed to hell. Sabi po ng Corinthians 4. For so these people need someone to show them the light. At tayo po yun. That is what the Holy Spirit does. He comes in and He illuminates the darkness. He makes it possible for the blind sinner to see yung kung pangangailangan nila sa ating pansakwisto upang sila yung karoon. No. Quite often, God uses those who are already been delivered from blindness to hold the light. For those who still cannot see, we must take the light to the loss. Then, pinapunta po siya sa mga, sa highways, no? Yung mga para makasumpungan masumpung, niya yung mga highway dwellers. After the servant had found all the wretched humanity he could find and had brought them in, sabi po ng kanyang master, meron pang lugar dito sa ating bahay. No? There is still room. No? Now he sent the servant into the streets and the 
God's home. Here, eto po sabi rito, worst of the worst yung may experience nito ng servant. Bakit kaya? Because these people were the upscoring of all humanity. No? Mixed among these assorted homeless and wanderers who defound those who were journeying or out on business. Ito mo na tao sa kalsada. May mga tulad yan. Hindi natin mga kapilala. So, kapag sila ay in-invite natin ang sinabihan ng basta, no? kaya yung din yung isa, yung fear, dun sa mga mag-share, no? kapag yung mga street people na, yung kanilang makaka-salamuha. Uh, <clears throat> so, ito daw pong servant, mamimit niya yung mga tao na hindi niya namimit noon no ito mga street dwellers no at uh, sino nagsasabi po ito sa atin na kailangan nating maging humble when we meet all these people it reminds us that everyone everywhere need to hear Jesus Christ and the way of God so yun po yung kanila mga pinuntahan kanya mga pinuntahan yung mga poor, yung mga mahim, yung hog, yung mga highway traders, yung mga blinds, yun po yung kanyang mga pinuntahan. Pagdating po sa 21 to 23 pa rin, no, yung expansion is challenging. At yung po verses na, yung po mga verses na to, the master of the feast uses his servant to carry his invitation, he sent the servant to tell everyone he meets no, that there is a feast and that they are invited to attend. Kaya daw yung sino niyang makasalbo niya, kung sino yung makita niya sa palsada, sabihan niya na sila ay invited din sa pigi. No? At iyak natin, sa mga sa iba, ito ay good news. Mm-hmm. Oh, Makalat-kalat ka lang sa palsada. Kasi invite ka ang gusto sa bigin, di ba? At yung mga iba naman, no? ay magbibigin-bigihan. No? Sa, sa invitation nitong uh, servant na sinugo ng kanyang master. The peace was prepared and it was ready to be consumed. The servant was given the challenge to invite it, in, of inviting men to the peace. No? God has planned to save the loss. And we are part of the plan. Meron plan ng Panginoon to save the lost. At bahagi po tayo ng mga dami. We are to take the gospel to the world and tell them about a loving, saving Lord. Salvation comes to those who heard the gospel. For them to hear, someone must take the message to them. Ito nga ni Scripture reading. We are those someone na magdadala po ang mensahe sa kanila. The Spirit of God works through us to enable us to carry the message of life to the lost. It is a challenging mission. But it is a mission that should be carried out with a sense of urgency. With a sense of urgency because The time is short. Ma-spoil mo po yung food. So, kailangan natin ng Madrid to, to invite people to the fish para makubos yung pindipera itong master. The time to tell when is now. Today is the day of salvation. Amen. Amen. The one we should tell, sino sila? Everyone we meet. Ito yung mga pagsasabihan natin. That is our mission. That is our mandate. At panglayan po natin sa Panginoon na tulungan po niya tayo na pag-fulfill yung pong kumanin na ito for His glory.
for his servant to carry out his master's command will require him to reach out to people that he was not used to interacting with before. Hindi niya sila uh, nakakasalamuha before at hindi siya comfortable sa mga taong to. At ngayon, sila yung dadala niya ng mabuti balita. He was used to be around people of a certain social standing. To fulfill his command, this command, he would have to move out dung po sa kanyang comfort zone. No? Kailangan niya mabalis dung sa kanyang comfort zone para mamilit niya at madalhan niya ng balita itong mga imimit niya. When we talk about witnessing, usually daw sinasabi natin, no, no, we, we, we witnessan natin yung ating mga kaibigan, yung ating mga kapamilya, at yung iba pa na feel natin na comfortable tayo sa kanila. But sabi nito, to fulfill God's command means that we are going to have to reach out the people that we would normally ignore. Witness daw, ay napupuntahan natin yung mga taong ini-ignore natin even yung mga enemies natin mm -hmm. love your enemies yun yung mga babahaginan natin we are going to have to witness to people who are wicked different to people we would normally not avoid yung mga tao na iniiwasan natin yun yung mga may mean that we have to humble ourselves and invite people to the fish that we normally would not speak to. Mga hindi natin kinakausap. Ngayon, kausapin na natin. There is a fish and they are invited. Nandun po yung sense of urgency. Bakit? Kasi... So time is short at mapapanis yung, yung food na pinapir. So tingnan po natin yung mga nakarang panahon. Hanas na daw po ba na nasasabi natin that we have invited no, someone to the peace. No, Pag-invite natin ba tayo? No, pa na sabihan na people that there is a peace and they are invited. Kung hindi pa, bakit? At kung hindi pa, kailan natin gagawin? So the majority of the world around us is lost. They have been invited to the peace. Some have turned down Turn down the invitation, but others have yet to hear the invitation. Now, meron na nag-response positive, meron na nag-response na negative, kung tayo ay nag-invite na at nag-bahagi na nito ang buting balita, but sabi, marami pa ang kailangan makarigig. Marami pa ang kailangan dalhan itong balita dito. Let's go. Tell them that they are invited to come to the Lord for salvation. Alalahanin daw natin that the lost are compelled to come and the saints are commanded to go. They are compelled to come and us a believer of Christ, as a saint of God, we are commanded to go. At sabi po, there was there is an urgency because the time is short. Hindi po natin alam kung hanggang kailan siya. Kaya sabi po, kailan daw sa atin sasabihin? Now. It was now. Is the day of salvation. And kung tayo po ay kagaya ng servant, 
After po marinig natin yung mensahe ng Panginoon sa hapon na ito, tayo po ay magmamadali. I-reach natin yung mahal natin at yung mga hindi natin mahal, yung mga kaaway, yung mga hindi nakakausap. Ngayon po yung mensahe po nung pasalay natin ngayon. Reach the unreachable. Star, star. <laughs> and bring the message that there was a peace and they are invited. Ano po daw ang magiging result, no? Kung nais natin kumita sila sa hell or heaven, no? To avoid going to hell, no? Kailangan po sila ay magiging makasama doon sa list ng invited at magkaroon sila ng relationship sa ating Panginoon sa Kristo. Are we like that servant no? to obey the command of his master? Tayo po ay Panginoon, muli maraming maraming salamat po Gang sa iyong pag-aalala sa amin Lalo na kami na iyong mga liligtas Kami na iyong mga saints Kami na iyong mga manang palataya Panginoon, that the time is short There is an urgency, Panginoon For those people around us who are lost to bring the good news, the good news of salvation, the good news na kalitasan ng mga mula sa amin ng Jesus. Lord, help us, Panginoon, to fulfill this this command of yours. Lord, may mga kung plano to save all the lost Panginoon at kami po ay kabahagi yung plan ng Lord, be my name is love and help us Lord to obey the command of God for the Lord and the people for the salvation of the lost and for the glory of your name Thank you all of us in Jesus name Amen So ngayon po ay po ng Sunday ng buwan Pinagana po natin yung ating Lord's Supper. Now to Him who is able to keep you from stumbling and to present you blameless before the presence of His glory with great joy. To the only God, our Savior, through Jesus Christ our Lord, be glory, majesty, dominion, and authority before all time and now and forever. Amen. Amen.